What's up guys? This is Ian for the RPC channel and today uh, the subject of the video is the right time to move up. So a lot of players have this doubt and I want to give my two cents here about that and what I bring here is a list of some some things that I think it's important and number one would be set your goals and see what's good for you so moving up is very controversial there are some guys that um, like to be more comfortable in the limits they are playing they are winning the money that they think it's good enough for them and it's all good good with that I think everyone should aim what is good for your life or for your career, uh, what you want with poker in, in general. But um, what I think is the best and what I think you should aim is to try to achieve the highest level possible uh, as soon as possible and make these move ups really, really quick. So independent, independently of the of where you want to go, like if you're playing 10 and L and your end goal is 100 and L or 200 and L, you should uh, go there the, uh, as, as soon as possible because A, the rake is lower always on the higher limits and B, you will win more money uh, playing higher limits, okay? So, uh, number two uh, is correlated to that. I do think you should always pursue to move up as soon as possible, but without being anxious. So pursuing moving up uh, it's a, is a thing. Being anxious to move up and move up too quickly when you're not ready is another thing. So you need to balance those two parameters and try to find the right moment to move up. And this comes with number three, being honest with yourself. So you gotta be very honest with yourself. If you're playing, let's say 50 and L and you're getting troubles, you don't know uh, how to play versus, uh, you, know, you don't have the, the domain of your strategies, you're, you're not beating the field, you're not, not beating the regs. Uh, in, even though you want to move up, you want to go quick, quickly and you don't, don't beat those limits, uh, this can be very bad for, for your career. So don't be anxious, but be very ambitious and try to, to, to move up as soon as possible to the limits that are your, your end goals. And of course, your end goals can change um, on, on, on your career, okay? Um, number four, confidence is very important. So it's not only, there's no magic here, like play 100K hands, see if you're beating more than two BBs and move up. Like, I'm not gonna do anything like that here. But I want to talk about important subjects that you have to take care of uh, when choosing to move up. Okay, so confidence is very, very important. So even though you're, you're like playing, I don't know, 100k hands in one limit and you play it like 50k hands beating well and then now you're kind of break even or like in this whole sample, but you feel, you know that you're, um, you're evolving a lot, um, your performance is better, you feel more confident, you know what to do in almost all, all of the spots, you know that the regs uh, that you battle every day are making some mistakes, so this is a good moment to move up, okay? And of course, this always comes with number five, that is your bankroll. So, be always comfortable with your bankroll. Um, so this subject is very complex because it depends on, on each player uh, life. So not only about poker, but how much do you need to, to cash out every month? Um, how much do you need to not feel anxious about having in your bankroll? I can say for myself nowadays, the, the worst downswing that I had in my life were, was 30 buy-ins and I play with 100 buy-ins, but I shot uh, higher limits with 50 buy-ins. So I don't want to have only 50 buy-ins to play my main game 
that I play nowadays and having a 30 buy-ins downswing. Because if, I, if I'm having a 30 buy-ins downswing, then I just have 20 buy-ins left. What I'm gonna do? Of course, you can move down, etc. But it's very, you, you will feel very pressured about that. You feel very anxious and this is very bad uh, for you. Okay, so I do think that those are the most important subjects overall. And if you want to, to move up uh, really quick on poker, I always say to all, all, the, all the players to study a lot. So, of course, you need to make volume, but you can't just grind, grind, grind without studying and without feeling that you're evolving. So, I always say to everyone, focus on studying and grind uh, the right amount. Okay, thank you.